Welcome back to Stooge Dream. I am your host, The Stooge. This is another toy unboxing. Now, if you remember a couple of weeks ago, or if you're a follower of the channel, I unboxed Ray from the classic Ghostbusters 2006 Mattel line. I got him on clearance. I was like, well, I got one of them. I'm happy with that. So we found a couple of the other guys on clearance. Egon. Winston. And Peter. We have the full team, and that means we have the Builder figure as well, which is really, really cool. I'm looking forward to getting into these guys. Let's have a little look at the packaging first. Actually, really nice packaging on these toys. Like classic. The backs are the same on all of them. And we're going to put that together and it's glow in the dark. Yay! Alright, so let's get these three bad boys out of their boxes and have the whole team together. Let's do that. And there you have the complete classic Ghostbusters. These are really good looking figures. So I'm going to get the negative out of the way first. The only negatives with them that I can find so far is the Proton Pack does unbalance the figures a little bit. They kind of really didn't take that too much into account. And these are very rubbery. So you can see they they bend very easily. So they kind of don't look perfectly straight in their hands. And sometimes they slip out due to that. But other than that, these are great, great looking. Ah, see, we're getting some proton pack wobble there. Really great looking figures. So we'll get a little bit closer so you can see them in a bit more detail. Even down to the names on their chest. Like, the details to movie accuracy is very nice. We'll turn one around, because they all look the same from behind, roughly. Come on, get in focus. Just really, really nicely designed toys. These are clearly made for display, um, but damn do they look nice. Alright, and they come with a builder piece. This is my first builder figure ever, because I never buy full sets of anything. Um, and here it is. It's the Ghostbusters symbol. This is a little shonky. Um, you can see the paint's not great on it. Snapping it together wasn't fantastic. The stand is a little bit wonky and the actual hole uh, for the stand is too small, but you can kind of jam it in. Look, it, it works. It works. Um, and it's glow in the dark. So that's pretty damn cool. All in all though, I'm a fan of this line. I really like it. I think it's a great toy line. I've got a little Ghostbusters display going, and we're going to cut to that now. So there is my Ghostbusters display. Uh, you can see a like a lunchbox tin in the back there that looks like a trap. Uh, an original 80s Ghost in a Can, a Coca-Cola promotion. That builder figure we just made. The four Ghostbusters, a Dorb's Ghostbuster. Uh, Old school 90s or 80s Slimer, a Ghostbusters paper wallet, and a door hanger. So it's not a lot, but it's a little Ghostbusters display. So I'm a fan of the original movies. Let me know what you think in the 
Comments below, do you like the toys? I think they look pretty damn awesome on display. They look very cool. And that looks pretty cool up there too. So let me know what you think. Do you have these guys? Did you get the Mattel line? Did you get the new Ghostbusters or the classics? All of that and more down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I've been the Stooge and don't forget, adventure, excitement. Stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the Stooge Revolution.